the mighty Starlink has come to Africa. <laughs> Well, after three years of waiting, after putting that initial deposit down of $99, Elon Musk got in touch and said, Starlink is now available in Kenya. And of course, being the tech head that I am, I clicked subscribed. And three weeks later, with all the taxes and shipping paid for, this satellite receiver ended up here in my home in central Kenya. Now the device is very, very simple. It just comes with the satellite dish receiver. It comes with a very simple router, a power cable, and also a 20 meter extension cable that goes from the dish into the router. It is very easy to configure. Now why have I done this? Well, initially when I paid for the deposit, I was looking for a much faster internet connection, having lived in rural Kenya. Now, I've managed to improve that somewhat, but I wanna take my measly 15, 20 meg connection to something that is up over 100 megabits. So let's take this outside, temporarily set it up and see how my first connection looks. My home is in the highlands of Kenya, about 8,000 feet up. However, I do have a lot of trees in my garden. So I need to find a place where this will receive the satellite signals. So Starlink provide you a really useful app. It's as simple as selecting the dish and then pointing your phone towards the sky and somehow with a bit of scientific jiggery pokery the camera picks up the field of view where the dish should be facing and then tells you whether or not the view is good enough to receive Starlink internet and in this case where I'm standing right now seems to be okay although something rather strange did happen to my satellite receiver and I had to change its orientation so having found a spot that looked like it could work, I place the Starlink satellite up outside and then I run this 20 meter cable into the house. Now, first thing you need to know about this cable is that you cannot remove the plug easily. And so it makes it a little tricky if you're passing it through a wall. Now to simply connect it all together, the router has two inputs, a power input and then that connector that comes from the dish to the router. And of course, that same app helps you set up the first configuration. Now, once the router has booted up, it actually creates a wireless network called Starlink. And the app encourages you to connect to that Starlink wireless network. It has no security, so you can go straight into it. And once you're connected, you go back to the Starlink app, and then it enables you to start to configure your own router with whatever the wireless network name that you want to call it. And I called it Wax Star Link and the security that you want to add as well. And then this is where you have to be patient because it takes a while to boot. It takes a while to orientate itself and find the best view of the sky. And um, I got quite frustrated because I wanted blazing fast speed out of the box straight away. But you have to be patient. Actually, in fact, it took over 24 hours to settle down. Within the Starlink app, there is a speed test function among other network diagnostic tools. And you can see this is one of my first tests. The link has been up for about an hour and I'm getting about 36 megabits per second download and about 11 up. Now, that wasn't the blazing fast speeds I was hoping for, but you can see from the network diagnostics that the link was on and off. And I'm assuming that this is because the dish is working at its best orientation. 24 hours later, on my iPad, I run the speed test application and I am now getting 250 plus megabits per second download. 
this is fantastic for a rural location in Kenya. Although the ping rate is quite high and I think the reason because of this is there seems to be all my traffic is being routed through Nigeria and I suspect we'll see that ping rate drop as I'm guessing Starlink will put more uplink stations in the continent of Africa. But I'm pretty pleased with this so far. Of course, I'll give further updates. I wanted to see what was going on in the sky above where I live, and you can see in Kenya, there's about four or five satellites. And I wondered what this was like in comparison to somewhere like the United States. And you can see if you look at a similar geographical location, you can see that there are about four or five satellites in a similar space. So you can see that actually coverage wise, we're actually in Africa getting similar coverage to what would be in the United States. Anyway, I look forward to updating you more on this video and thanks always for watching. Please rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.